guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we're gonna be using some Dollar Tree frames. For this one, I found these really cute burlap ones and I was not gonna change these up at all. I grabbed two of them. I also grabbed two of these ornaments from Dollar General. These are so cute. I love Dollar General ornaments. I think they are my favorite hands down. There's always so many to choose from, but they are so pretty and I really like these ones. So all I'm doing is taking some hot glue and gluing these right to the center of the frames. I think these matched perfect. I did want to keep those beads there. So I did just tuck them under the clip and these are so pretty. And I think these are pretty high end. If you kind of go with that like darker theme, you go with like the whites, the woods and like the black colors. I think it is gorgeous. video is sponsored by Lithely. They were kind enough to send me two of their items. I am over the top excited for these. I love anything battery operated. So the first item that they sent me, I'm going to show you guys is the U20 cordless brushless leaf blower. So it was in a box, in a box. So I am just unboxing these two items for you. And then they also sent me over their U20 cordless pull saw. So I have goats and we cut branches down for them all the time, but I cut it by hand with just a hand saw or a tree saw possibly and I knew that this pole saw was going to come in handy. Quick, we're going to start off with the leaf blower because we have leaves right now and I really wanted to be able to start piling them up. So it comes with two parts, two batteries, and all you do is put the detachable air tube uh, right into place and you can take it apart and put it right back in the box. That's what I plan to do when the winter time comes along and it is not needed. I think the detachable air tube is really great for storing so it doesn't take up a ton of space and you don't have to figure that out. Uh, it is so lightweight, which I love any type of power tool, anything that is lightweight. It's only 6.8 pounds and you can get up to 112 miles per hour airspeed with this. There is a turbo slash like max mode. So it blasts through heavy leaves and debris. And the one thing I did like about it is that if I am doing this in the yard with the kids, I can hear them because it is m way more quiet than any type of gas powered leaf blower. And you just push this button, pull the batteries out. The cool thing about the batteries is they double as a power bank, but all the U20 series of products have the exact same battery, which I think is awesome because then if one's charged, one's not, you can just swap them out. So this is the pull saw. This was a pretty easy to put together as well. I did have my husband help me out with the chain because he uses chainsaws all the time and I had no idea what I was doing and I was terrified. So I did leave it to him to do that, but this is what it looks like. It is a little top heavy, so it is kind of tough. Uh, but it works amazing. It cut branches within seconds and I was having seriously the best time with this. I don't know why anybody would, if you can see my face there, it tells all. I don't know why anyone would send me something like this uh, because I, we literally have no trees left after this. Uh, but it does cut up to 50 cuts before you have to charge batteries. I have yet to charge them. Uh, the pool does reach a max of 11 and a half feet in length, which is insane to me. Uh, like I said, the battery doubles as a portable power bank. All their U20 line does share the same battery, which I think is awesome as well. And this is a toolless chain tensioning and auto lubrication. There's a dual switch control for safety, which is nice. You do have to press two different buttons before it will work. But if you guys do want to check out any of their U20 series products, I will leave all of the links in the description box below for you guys. And let's get back to crafting. So for this next DIY, I'm using this frame as well. I loved this circular one. I didn't know what to do with it at first. I thought maybe hanging ornaments would also be really cute. I decided to pull out that middle piece and then I just added a scrapbook paper piece to the inside of this. It's actually part of like vinyl Cricut, but you can add any type of scrap of paper to the inside of this. It is a picture frame. It does slide right through, but I wanted to add that for a backing because I didn't want you to see all the extra stuff that this frame has to offer in the backside. I'm also using this Chocotour silk screen transfer. I love these. I can't get enough of them. But then when I was peeling it off, I realized I had nowhere to hold on to. So I did smear it just a little bit with my finger 
so I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when it came to that and how I was going to peel off the transfer. I'm also using these little bottle brush trees. These are also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gluing two of them to the bottom of this. And that is it for this one. I think this one is actually really pretty, even though my big old fingers did uh, smear that just a tiny bit. No, right now this one was actually pretty hard to film. I realized there was such a bad glare throughout this entire thing. So I, apologies already. I wanted to use another silkscreen transfer from that same pack because I love when Chocotour sells like a ton of these smaller uh, transfers together. So then you like, I feel like you get your money's worth 100%. I'm using some bright white chalk paste for this and then I'm peeling it back. I think I should have went with black chalk paste. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. I just wanted something just a little bit different. The backside had like black writing on it. So I just wanted, I don't know. I just wanted it to be more like Christmassy, silvery. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Also adding this ornament. This is from Dollar General once again. And I am just adding that right to the top of this frame. And that is all I did for this one. Super easy. I thought this tag frame was so cute, but obviously it is going to have to turn into some Christmas decor. So the first thing I did is just use my little electric screwdriver to take off that frame. And I ended up not adding all the screws back in because I vacuumed in my craft room and sucked half of them up. You know, I could have went through the vacuum. I just chose not to. I'm painting it to the crimson color by Waverly, which is a red color. And then I'm also painting this frame. I started out not painting the frame, but I do not like the black on red. I just think it looks terrible. And I know I've done so many DIYs like that. And I go back and I'm just like kicking myself for them. I just, and that's preference, obviously. Uh, but... If you guys haven't seen my videos recently, I'm obsessed with this gingerbread theme this year. I don't know if I'm going to do like 50 videos or just like four. I don't know. I have another one coming up pretty soon for you guys. If not, it might already be out. I'm not sure. But this one goes with my gingerbread theme. This is just a Cricut vinyl decal I cut out and it's just from Cricut Design Space. I don't create any of my own SVGs, although maybe I'll sit down one day and actually do it. I also just glued a gingerbread right to the center of that frame. And yes, I'm talking fast. I feel like I'm so behind. Uh, I'm using this puffy paint. This is from Dollar Tree. And I love these smaller ones. The tips are so nice. I just really like those. And then I'm kind of just shaking it up a little bit to make some drips. And then, of course, we're adding those faux sprinkles that are from Amazon. And I'll link those in the description box for you guys. And then I thought it just needed a little bow on that frame. So that is what I did there. I also did paint the screws so you didn't see the black screws over the white frame. But there's only two screws in there. So can you find them? Yes or no? This one's not really a picture frame, but it is kind of a frame or a sign. But this chocotour stencil fit perfect inside of this sign so I had to do it it turned out so cute and it was it seriously took like a minute and a half to put together I am using the candy I think it's candy apple is what it's called and I am just putting the chalk paste right over this peeling it off and this is probably one of the cutest crafts that I did and it was one of the fastest for sure my favorite part is the reveal of when you're completely done and then you pull the little transfer back and it always has such like a crisp clean look I'm obsessed I love it I know some people don't like these are a little pricey. I totally understand. You could always use stencils for something like this as well. It's so a DIY. I'm using this four by four frame. It is a little see-through. I don't know why I bought this. I thought, I think it's because it was like a square. So I'm like, this will be great. I'm actually covering the entire thing with a napkin. So you can't even tell any sort of frame would work perfect for this. I'm using this napkin. This gingerbread napkin came from Dollar General last year. 
And I have a ton still. And like I said, the gingerbread theme is, it's going strong over here. And this isn't even a gingerbread video. Um, and I'm just smoothing it out. Using a glue stick is incredible because you always get such a clean napkin. I love it. It always just looks good. Mod Podge does not work for me. And I didn't seal it, but you totally could seal it. Probably with Mod Podge would work fine. I just don't want the wrinkles. That little gingerbread girl came from Hobby Lobby. It was on like a little steak and I just pulled that off, glued it. And of course we got to add the little fake frosting along with the sprinkles. And that is it. I think this one is so cute and it is going to look so good with my gingerbread theme guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are new to my channel i would love you consider sticking around and subscribing don't forget to check out lightly the links to the leaf blower and the pole saw will be in the description box below for you guys that is it you guys i will see you in the next one bye